We've had some incredible news about the Samsung Galaxy Fold 2 and I'll be sharing all the details right after this. If you're new here and want to stay up to date with the latest tech, please hit subscribe followed by the bell. So we've had many publications telling us about the upcoming Galaxy Fold 2 and its new clamshell design that's coming. I previously said in my videos that, that I don't think this will actually be the Galaxy Fold 2 and it turns out I was correct. Samsung have been at CES this week and held a few private meetings where they've showcased new products. Earlier today, they held a private meeting for what many thought was the Galaxy Fold 2, but it's now been confirmed to be called the Galaxy Bloom. Samsung CEO DJ Co confirmed in this meeting that the clamshell foldable phone is the upcoming Galaxy Bloom and another image has been leaked showing us the same information. DJ Co confirmed that the design was inspired by a cosmetics brand at Lancome's Compacts, which seems very strange to me, but they're apparently aiming this at the female audience in their 20s. From this private meeting, we also had confirmation that instead of the transparent polyamide plastic protective film that they used in the original Fold, they're now using ultra-thin glass to protect the Galaxy Bloom. It's also expected to be the first smartphone to arrive with 8K video recording, meaning we should see this before the Galaxy S20. A previous report emerged last week letting us know that the clamshell folding phone was coming earlier than we thought and it was actually going to be launched before the Galaxy S11 or Galaxy S20 as we now know it's going to be called. This is no doubt thanks to other brands like Huawei and Motorola being set to release similar models earlier on in the year and now Samsung are no doubt rushing theirs to market. Samsung Electronics refused to comment on the release schedule of the new folding phone, but a source claims we'll be seeing it in February 2020, but still before the launch of the S20. We also have news that the device is going to be cheaper than the original Galaxy Fold. While not much has been known about the Galaxy Bloom, more information has been coming forward and we now have a good idea of what to expect. The device is reportedly going to have a 6.7 inch screen when unfolded and be more of a square shape in its folded position. While we previously only had renders to go on, a Weibo user has posted live photos of the Galaxy Bloom. We've had 5 photos in total and while not in the best quality, we can see a lot about the design. The first photo shows us the tall aspect ratio of the device. We can see a pretty much full screen display thanks to the punch hole selfie camera top center. Next up we've got photos showing us the fold of the device and we can see it is relatively thin. We also get another front shot of the device while folding and one thing that does worry me here is the crease that could be caused after a lot of folding in the center of the Galaxy Bloom. Next up we've got a photo showing us the bottom and the top of the device when folded. We can see bottom firing speakers along with a USB port. Although something that may upset many here is the lack of a 3.5mm headphone jack. Finally we get a shot of the back of the phone showing us a dual camera design with an LED flash and an external display showing the time. Given the phone's relatively small size I would assume the reason for such a small display on the outside is of course for battery saving. There's no fingerprint scanner to be seen so we'll probably get an in-display fingerprint scanner and it's thought that this device will be an upper mid-range phone so it won't necessarily have flagship everything. Now although this was previously posted as the Galaxy Fold 2, personally I don't think it was ever going to be that. The Galaxy Fold is more of a folding tablet whereas this device is a phone with portability in mind. I think this device will stay under the Galaxy Bloom branding and will probably get a separate Galaxy Fold 2 later on in the year. A new report reveals that the pricing for this device is going to be between $1,000 and $1,500, which is cheaper than the Galaxy Fold's $2,000 price tag. We've already had plenty of leaks on another folding device, however, that I believe will be the Galaxy Fold 2. A new patent was filed by Samsung and reveals a foldable device with a different form factor than the original. This one is more of a Galaxy Tab with a folding form factor. With this design, we get a much larger display with a better aspect ratio for media and gaming. The patent also reveals a full screen display when unfolded. We've got no notches and no punch holes which suggests we could be looking at an in-display camera. Given that this is going to be another luxury product from Samsung, then it would sort of make sense. 
The whole design of this folding device is aimed at having a tablet with portability. It will be designed to fit comfortably in pockets but still provide a large enough display. The device can also be used in the form of a mini laptop by resting the bottom on the surface and folding the top part up. We then have a display on the top portion and a keyboard on the bottom. Previous reports were stating that the Galaxy Fold 2 will be using ultra-thin glass instead of the transparent polyamide currently used that's vulnerable to scratches and damages. As the Galaxy Bloom is now coming out with this ultra-thin glass, I think it's very likely that we'll also see it on the Galaxy Fold 2. One feature commonly complained about from the original Fold was the absence of an S Pen, and this was probably down to the transparent polyamide not being durable enough for use of an S Pen, so hopefully it will be possible with the ultra thin glass. When it comes to hardware and specs, it's going to be very dependent on release date, but I expect this device to come towards the end of 2020, meaning it's no doubt going to contain the Snapdragon 865. The patent makes no mentions of cameras, but I would imagine we get something satisfactory but not too over the top. The device is going to be aimed at heavy media users and gamers, so photography won't be as important. Unfortunately, we haven't got any solid leaks when it comes to launch or price of this device, and given that it's a patent, it doesn't necessarily confirm that the device is ever going to make it to market either. It does, however, seem a sensible design that could take off if it does. Foldable devices are still very much in their infancy, however, in being luxury products with such high price tags, we're yet to see if they will take off. As they find cheaper ways to manufacture these devices, we'll see some more price drops, but we're still going to be many years away from them being somewhat affordable. Personally, I think the Galaxy Bloom is going to be a new range from Samsung, whereas the Fold will keep their current branding. Of course, if any more information comes to light about the Galaxy Bloom or the Galaxy Fold 2, I'll be sharing with you guys straight away. But as always, I'd like to know your thoughts in the comments. What do you think of the Samsung Galaxy Bloom and do you like the design or do you prefer the Galaxy Fold? But thanks for watching the video, if you liked it smash a thumbs up, if you didn't hit the thumbs down twice and I'll see you guys in the next one.